No, 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 please, please, please. Oh, I'm so glad we found this spot. Yeah, me too. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Please, guys, I really need this spot. I have to be inside now. Please. I'm sorry, dude. You were too late. You don't understand. I really have to be inside now. It's an emergency. You gotta go. No, 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 no. Please. <laughs> what was oh, that? No. I'm sorry, I came as soon as I could. How's my son doing? Please, please. I'm very sorry, but your son passed away two minutes ago. What? That kind of thing. Just late this morning. Did, did he say anything? Please tell me, please. He kept asking for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. You don't understand, it's an emergency. I'm sorry dude, you were too late. Imagine being rude to someone and then later finding out that they just lost a loved one. Imagine the guilt you would feel of knowing you could have helped this person in a time of need, but chose not to. Every day we have interactions with people who are going through some kind of a challenge. They may be experiencing some level of pain suffering or loss, but usually we're so caught up in our own lives that we don't even notice. Maybe a coworker is going through a relationship problem, a friend is dealing with anxiety or depression, a family member is struggling financially, a parent or grandparent is having health issues, or a stranger just lost a loved one. Every day we come across people that are in need, and every day we have an opportunity to help someone. We should treat others the way we would want to be treated. Because one of these days, we may find ourselves in some situation that requires the understanding and kindness of a total stranger. So be kind to others. Be the kind of person you wish you could have had if you were in their position. Because each person is fighting their own battle. And you really never know what someone is going through.